Another day, another common Twitch streamer L. Holy moly, when will these Twitch streamers ever learn that you- When will the, you guys ever, like, not take L's? Like, seriously, Jesus Christ. We already have, like, shitty streamers on Twitch. Why not add another one to the pile? Boys and girls, meet Nadia. She is a well-known Twitch streamer who... She's also a controversial Twitch streamer. She, in the past, she's gotten a bunch of controversy for cheating in a video game. Or, yet yeah, just cheating, I guess. That's all I know. And recently, she got into a lot more trouble than just cheating in some dumbass video game. She got... She, she ended up doxing somebody because... That person called her a cheater. Cheater as in video game cheater, not cheater as in boyfriend girlfriend cheater. It's video game cheater. Get it right. Will we'll donate a dollar to me and they'll hate. So I just want to say, Daddy Slayer. I know you used your name as Daddy Slayer, and you you said enjoy using cheats. But what you don't know is that when you send me money on PayPal, it actually gives me your full name. So. Guys, we need to pray for Daddy Slayer. Like, holy shit, did you see how long the bleep was? Like, this guy just got his full name leaked, probably address, I don't know, like social security number, anything of anything he had got leaked. And all, it's all because cause this bitch got on her feelings about being called a cheater in video games when she's been called that by numerous people. You know what, Nadia? You're a freaking cheater. Don't... D -d -d Okay, I'm scared. Thank you for the dollar dono. For whatever reason, you find actual time to do something in your fucking life. Because now you look like a fucking idiot. I mean, you look like an idiot right now. I mean, just leak, just like screaming out his full name and address or whatever the fuck you probably, the docs that you said. Mainly because this guy called you a cheater. You know, mostly normal people would just like ignore that shit, you know pass it on the rug you know fuck that guy or maybe call him out say hey daddy slayer you're a fucking bitch there you go that would have been an easy own but instead you decided to just go the stupidity route and decided to like leak his full name holy shit nadia what the fuck again and she says it a fucking again like this bitch has no mercy holy fuck guys I really mean this when we say we gotta pray for Daddy Slayer. Like, holy shit. He's about to get ruthless. He's, he's about to get, like, his shit fucked by Nadia fans. Or at least some of the portion of the Nadia fan base that want to protect her queen. Because the simp of Twitch has decided to protect her tween, the queen of Twitch. Even though they might have protected other queens in the past. But, you know what? It's all up to the Sims to protect the queen of Twitch, which is Nadia. I'm fuck. Okay, whatever I'm saying. Nadia's not a queen of Twitch. She's a fucking bitch. And then space, if anyone wants to know. Thank you for the dollar dono. Appreciate that. That will go towards my McDonald's Happy Meal Fund. Yeah, Nadia, stay fucking classy, bro. Slay the queens all the fucking round. Holy shit, you're pathetic. The worst part about all this is that she's acting all confused on, oh my god, why did I get banned? And it's not, I didn't even do anything wrong. She was like, got banned for, for, from Twitch for 14 days for sharing personal information, whatever that means. Like, holy shit, how are you this brain dead? I mean, and of course she decided to, you know, moderate the replies and, uh, and she had some hidden replies. And the hidden replies were absolutely roasting her for the dumbass that she is. So I'm glad people are calling her out on this. I'm glad this is not being swept under the rug. Sadly, Twitch, though, is deciding to unban Nadia for, like, after 14 days. And my question to you, Twitch, is why? This person has doxxed a f innocent man or innocent woman. And they just... Oh, my God, dude. They doxed an innocent person that person could have been hurt or harassed she should face the maximum consequences like holy shit this does not help your favor in favoritism twitch and also i think we can all connect the moral of the story of the video we can all make a moral you know lesson learned of this video today today i have learned that um I know not to use paypal when i want to donate to my favorite streamer i don't even donate to streamers I, usually i I would donate if like they're all, if, like 
the my if they're like actually good streamers that like support my content and shit. But but I don't donate through PayPal. And my lesson learned now is never donate through PayPal because I have a risk of getting doxxed.